What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube and today is a beautiful sunny Sunday and today we're going to do something different and I'll get into what we're doing in just a minute but in the meantime we got a few cars to move. So we got the Mustang in the garage and we got the Jeep here and the Ram over there. We got to move them out so we can get the Mustang out of the driveway. Approximately 10 hours later. So now that we've cleared the driveway and now I can finally get the Mustang out the driveway So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head to the gas station, get some E85, and then I'm going to explain to you guys what is exactly going to go on in today's video. So we're here getting some E85. So while the car is filling up with some E85, I'm going to tell you guys what is going to go on in today's video because you guys are probably wondering like, what in the world are you doing, Ron? Well, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing. So I had a dream about the new GT500 and I woke up with an idea and a spirit of exploring. So then I started thinking, what could we do for today? Well, I picked up my camera, picked up my phone, and I was like, let's go exploring. The main goal is to see the GT500 testing. A little while ago, a GT500 crashed in a testing course here in Michigan. And I think I have a pretty good idea of where that is. So I'm gonna show you guys where it could be on my phone and then we're gonna go and see if we can spot a GT500. So we are heading to Ford Dearborn Development Center. As you can see, well, okay, that was a fail. As you can see, that's where they test the vehicles out. So that is our next stop. a few Ford buildings that's the research and engineering center right here I believe that's it right there um, I think behind this wall might be where they test out the cars but it's telling me let me see it's telling me we are a little away yeah that's it I believe that's the wall yep that's the wall but on one side you could definitely see them okay so over there there's a bunch of Mustangs there's Raptors um, yeah, there's more stuff right there. But uh, we seem to be approaching. And um, one, like I said, like I said, one of the sides you could see, as you could see, this thing is literally walls very high. You can't see anything in here. One of the sides you could see the track uh, where they test out the cars. Okay, let's see what we got in here. I think that's a museum right there. Fuel cell center is right here. That's for Ford. Okay, let's keep driving. Um, I'm not sure what this is. A conference and event center. There's police right there. Okay, there must be some sort of event going on because there's four cars right there that are police cars well there's five actually all right there and there's another one right here and there's a cop right here more cops walking right here um i'm just not sure what's gonna go on hold on uh, just passed them this brick wall is going all around it but i know there is one that you can definitely see through it okay so we are on the other side and up there is where they test out the trucks they go up something so I'm guessing they put new walls in because this was not here at all. It was not here at all. It was literally see-through. 
but I'm thinking because uh, a lot of people were coming here and taking pictures of what Ford is working on they decided to put solid walls like this where you can't see anything at all but I'm gonna keep looking and see if maybe I could find it but I'm pretty sure this is where it was and now it's gone because they put new walls up found an open gate ladies and gentlemen and we are in here now so the security just passed by me and didn't say anything um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to be here but the gate was open and it didn't say anything about uh, us not going in or anything like that I didn't see any signs but uh all gated I know that for sure but one of the gates was like open it was like half open so I drove in here doesn't say not to get in here but every single car in here pretty much has an M plate so here is a few M plates we got this GT 350 right here so you guys and there's something else next to it not sure what that car is right there so I rolled my window up because I don't want anybody seeing me I have pretty dark tints but I'm not sure what this car is I'm not sure at all you see it looks different maybe it's the Explorer I'm not sure there's another Shelby right here another Mustang over here and then there's this I'm not sure what this is at all so since I'm driving a new Mustang, I think I fit in and they don't see that there's a problem of me being here. They'll probably be like, oh, this may be one of the engineers or somebody that works here. So being in a Mustang is a good thing when you're around here right now. Also, this. I am not sure what this is at all, but I think this is the new Escape. Look at that. Let's go around it real quick. What in, what is that? Look at the exhaust pipes. I'm pretty sure those are just for testing. Why are they sticking out like that? They don't even look, they look like plumbing pipes. Now this, I can't seem to figure out what Ford car this would be. I don't think Ford has a car that looks like that. Maybe a Fusion, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it does look like a Fusion because of the exhaust tips, it looks like a Fusion. And over here we got the trucks and there is a new truck right there. Check out this new truck. I think it's probably like a F450. I'm not sure really. Um, look at that. That thing looks like it's about to tow something. We got the steps right there. Everything is camouflaged, even the steps. The front headlights, everything. I'm going to show you guys the back real quick. So that's the Platinum Super Duty. You got the King Ranch. And then a regular F-150 and then this bad boy. Wow. Holy moly. Now this is a truck. Look at this beast. Wow. <laughs> this thing is so sick. Wow. Looks good. For all you truck people, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think of this new truck. I was just looking around. And I believe I'm in Ford's facility, like, like literally in there because I'm seeing gates all around me and I'm not sure how I'm going to get out of here, but there's literally gates all around. And the cool thing right now, what I'm doing is I'm driving all around the parking lot to look at all the cool cars they have. So there is another Mustang. I believe that's the performance pack two because it has those wheels and uh, the splitter right there. Looks good. And here we also got a GTCS. It's a California special. I've never seen one of these. This is an 18 California special. Look at that bad boy. I'm gonna actually get out and show you guys real quick. There it is. Let's see if there's any difference from the inside. Um, it just says a California special on it. Red stitching, black interior. This is what the wheels look like with the Brembos. Nothing really fancy. Looks good though. I actually dig those wheels. So right now guys, we're gonna go in these parking garages. I'm hoping to see something cool, maybe all the way upstairs or something. So we're gonna enter and see what we could find. So here they got a new navigator. It looks like a BMW, honestly, with these headlights. 
Yeah, it looks a little smaller than a navigator. If I, I, I'm sorry if I said a navigator. I don't think it's a navigator. It looks a little smaller. And inside, it doesn't look like they're uh, finished building it or testing it. That's just plastic to make it look like a different car. It's trying to make it seem like it's a Durango. So the reason they had it wrapped in the back like that to make it look like a Durango is often manufacturers like to uh, make it look like it's the competitor coming out with a new car, not them specifically. So let's say they're coming out with a new Fusion or something. They'll wrap the back to look like a Dodge tail light to make it seem like Dodge is coming out with a new car. They like to mess with each other that way. And that's what they did right here. So here we got a GT350R. I'm really not sure if this is the new one or not because they all pretty much look the same. But uh, this is a GT350R. You could see on the seats it says R. Looks pretty good in red. So right now, I'm on the phone with Rush SRT. Well, his name is Rush Shift now. I'm sorry, not Rush SRT. Rush Shift, make sure you guys go and subscribe to him on YouTube. So we're doing some investigating, me and Rush. You guys wanna say hi to Rush? Rush, say hi to them. What's up, guys? How's it going? All right, so so right now I'm seeing a lot. Of, all right, it's not making me laugh. So right now I'm seeing a lot of the competitors' cars, like the Chevy truck, uh, the BMW X6, and what we have come up with is uh, that they're trying to copy other cars and just studying the competition. Not necessarily copying the cars, if they're pretty much just studying the cars and. We've been seeing a lot of the competitors' cars in this garage. So right now, I'm exiting the garage. All right, guys, so we found the gate. So now, we're going to get ourselves out of here. All right, peace out. This is where I really wanted to go to, guys, right there where they test out the cars. But unfortunately, there's no possible way for me to get in there. They put these new brick walls all around and made it pretty much impossible for anyone to see what they're doing back there. So as I'm heading home, I came up with a good theory on why the walls are there. Um, do you guys remember uh, that GT500 crash where they it was, where it was posted all online, it was a camouflage GT500 and it basically crashed at the facility. And that facility where that crash happened was the one with all those big walls. Uh, so so what I think happened is after that crash happened uh, Ford was getting a bunch of backlash because you know how Mustangs have the reputation of oh They always crash this and that but when that happened. I'm pretty sure Ford was like, okay We're definitely gonna need to build some walls so nobody can see through our testing facility because it's private it's, it's privacy to them They're still not done building the car and finishing it up. So they're like we got to do something about it So I think that's what they did. They definitely put those walls up. So that's my theory on what happened the walls are different oh my god this highway has semi flooded what is going on and i just cleaned my car look at this what the heck this is so annoying oh man my car is completely dirty right now man so you know what we gotta do so the Mustang is all the way cleaned up. Woo, look at her. She is so clean. But with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for what is going to happen with the Mustang. There's going to be so many videos, track videos with it. It's going to be pretty epic, and I hope you guys are ready for that. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, Give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, smash the subscribe button. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at ToxicSRT. And also on Snapchat at ToxicSRT as well. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next upload. Peace out. Woo!